Hello. Hi. How are you? Uh, good. 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 Um, I'm actually trying to join in on the, the first class that I can before I actually start teaching it myself. Oh. Good. Hi, I'm Shanae. James. Nice to meet you. Yeah, awesome. so I'm not really sure what I'm... Well, yeah, that's what this is for. <laughs> no problem. Have you ever taught online before? I haven't, no. I'm, I didn't, I never had either before I started teaching for Kalingo. So it's, um, it's different, but once you get used to it, I wouldn't change it for the world. I've always been a brick and mortar teacher and I love it now. So, yeah. So, well, we're going to do idioms today. Okay. And this is usually a really fun class. So, I hope you have a good time. Awesome. Would it be more benefit? I'm not sure. Like, should I, like, just kind of leave the video chat and like let other people join or does it matter um you know what miracle um who's another new teacher she joined one of my classes the other day and just stayed in so oh it's fine if you stay in. if you have any questions or anything you can just ask me so yeah just hang out and have a good time okay, cool. so, yeah no problem so hello everyone hello hello hello, hello. how are you guys how are you? Oh my god. Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Hello, Fabiana. Hi, Shanae. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Good. It's very hot in here. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> I, I have a tank top on, but I have the heater on at the same time because oh. it's not that hot here. <laughs> so I keep waiting. I keep waiting. The news keeps saying it's going to be warmer here in Southern California, but the wind keeps blowing, so it's not good. Send, send a little of it for, for us. I will send it all your way, Fabiana. I will send it all. So, and you send me your heat. Please. Okay. So, yes, awesome. Um, and Juan, how are you? Hi, Hi. Are you, are you fine? What about you? I'm good. Oh, oh we have two oh, ones, yes. Yeah. Hello, ones. <laughs> so. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so good to see you both. Good to see you both. And um, okay, Slim, you said you're going to be right back. Cool. And Bruno, how are you? Hi, Cheney. I'm doing well. What about you? I'm good. I'm good. And um, Assad, how are you today? Fine, thank you. What about you? I'm good. I'm good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. And is it Andre? Hello, teacher. How are you? Hi. I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Good. So, um, everyone, so we have um, a new member of the Colingo staff with us today. Um, James is joining us. So, everyone say hello to James. So, um, he's, he's going to... Hello, James. Nice to meet you. So he's going to be hanging out with us while we do some hangman and learn some idioms. So um, we'll we'll let him play too. So <laughs> I hope you're good at hangman, James. So all right, guys. Well, um, welcome to everyone. Um, I'm pretty sure Andre. I think is this your first class with me? Yeah. Yeah. With all camera, right. With with camera and audio is the first time uh, when awesome. I watch your 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 class. All right, very good. Well, I'm glad that you made it in. So, um, hello to everyone. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Shanae, and I am from the United States. I live in California. Most of you know this. Um, so today we are going to uh, play Hangman and uh, learn some idioms. And today, all of the idioms have to do with furniture and household items. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes. So you guys can kind of um, think about that as we're playing Hangman to try to guess the idioms. 
So, um, and hello to everyone in the lobby as well. Hello to everyone in the lobby. So, um, let's just go around the room real quick and have everyone introduce themselves. So, if you could say your name. Why does Google do this to me? All of a sudden, I don't know why, but all of a sudden the Hangouts, if you type, it mutes you, which I don't yeah, like that. It to be a new feature that's helpful. Yeah, I don't like it. It's not helpful for me. Um, <laughs> your name, where you're from, and something about yourself. So, um, Andre, we'll start with you. Yeah. I'm from Brazil. Excellent. And are you a student? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm studying from university. I, uh, my, my course is uh, Science State. Ah, all right. Very good. Very good. I love it. Nice to meet you. And um, Assad? Hello, everybody. My name is Assad. I'm from Syria. I live in Saudi Arabia. I am an electronics technician. Uh, I'm here to improve and uh, practice my English. And uh, it's my pleasure to join this class. And I hope it will be useful for all and also fun. For all. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's always a pleasure to have you, Assad. Thank you. And uh, Bruno? My name is Bruno. I'm from Brazil. I'm 17 years old and I'm a student. Excellent. Are you still in high school, Bruno? Yes, I'm in high school. Yeah, all right. Are you a senior? Senior? That's um, like the, in, in America, a senior is the last year of high school. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Awesome. Yeah. That's the best year. That's a good year. I hope so. <laughs> and um, James, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, my name is James Hankel. I live in South Dakota. It is currently snowing out right now. It's very cold. <laughs> and I just recently got back about a week or two ago from Nicaragua and Costa Rica visiting some friends and family. Oh, very cool. Very fun. I think out of all the Colingo teachers, I'm like the least traveled. I've, <laughs> I've been, all the Colingo teachers have been to all these amazing places, and I've been not that the places I've been haven't been amazing, but I've been to Canada, Mexico, and Bermuda, and that's <laughs> that's the extent of my international resume. <laughs> You got, you got the perfect setup for it. I know, I know. I have places to stay now all over the world. The only thing is, is I am five months pregnant today. So oh, well, I'm kind of, thank you. I'm kind of stuck at the moment. So, but once the baby gets here, I think, um, I think our son will be quite international. So, <laughs> so none of you are invited. Yes, and he has lots of aunts and uncles from all over the world. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Juan Estrada, no burritos, man. Hi, teacher. Well, as you know, I'm uh, Juan Estrada. I'm from the land of the burritos, Mexico. And um, I fix computers at home, and I'm a doctor assistant. So I'm not a, at college right now. Awesome. Very good. You live close to me, right, Juan? Are you? Mexicali. Mexicali, that's right. Yeah, yeah. you're like a couple hours away from me. Awesome. And um, other one, Juan Matarano? Yeah, well, I am close to you, too. I am two hours by play. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I am. Hi, everybody. This is Juan. I'm from Mexico, uh, living actually in Mexico City. Uh, I am a carpenter, I am 42 years old, and I enjoy learning English. Thank you. And um, Rizwan? Rizwan? Slims? Hello. Hello, everybody. My name is Tim, and uh, I like to play games sometimes. And uh, now, some new idioms. Yes. 
Awesome. And Slim is joining us from Tunisia. I'm sorry to say it. I, I'm so, so Tunisia. I yeah. To... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just like saying Tunisia. I just like, yes. I like how it sounds. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Um, has everybody played Hangman before? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. All right. Good. Okay. All right. So, let's see. Our first idiom of the day. Oh, and by the way, I like to try, I love games. So, we're going to make this into a game, kind of. Um, so, how this is going to work is. Um, we're going to play the room against the lobby. So only the room will get a chance to guess letters, but everybody gets a chance. If you think you know what the idiom is, you can guess the idiom. And if you guess the idiom correctly, then you get a point for your team. So if somebody in the room guesses it, then the room gets a point. And if somebody in the lobby types it before somebody in the room guesses it, then the lobby gets a point. So good luck to you all. Okay. Last week, the room killed the lobby. So we'll see what happens this week. <laughs> I will go to the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, help us out, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we have I know, I need I love the long ones. So the lines are the spaces. Yes. All right. So um, yes. Yes, Mr. Yeah, Sun. Okay. What is uh, the topic of uh, the idea of the situation? Ah. Household furniture and household items. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, Andre, we will start with you. Okay. Uh, a. A. Um, Asad? Oh. Only two, I know, oh. I know. Um, uh. Asad? Oh, oh this, yeah, oh, Asad, you want an E? Sorry, uh, yes, E. E, okay. Bruno? We have the letter O. Oh, guys going for all vowels. And Nardo, my friend. How are you, Shane? How are you? I'm very good. I've been missing you a lot. Ah, I miss you too. What have you been doing? Watching soccer? I was trying. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get a visa to travel to the USA, but ah. it was tonight. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. I'm very sad. Yeah. Well, you can try again. Yeah. Got I can it. try again 90 days. 90 days? Yeah. Awesome. Very good. Our country's dumb sometimes. All right. Yeah. I'll put in a good word for you. I don't know anybody, but I'll put in a good word for you, Ednardo. So. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, you want to guess the letter for me? Uh, sure, uh, the letter I. I. And James. Uh, let's throw a T out there. But I think. Uh, I think ah, yes, Imal got it. Yes, Imal, yeah. 
Yes, a watch pot never boils. You guys are really getting too good at using Google, I think. <laughs> a watch pot never boils. Has anybody ever heard this before? No. No? Okay. Mm -mm. So basically, this it's means. Oh, you know. Uh, yes. It's uh, something so uh, it is uh, um, happen or uh, work out in, in, their, uh, in their own time or something. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. Yes. Um, some things take. So some things take a lot of time. So if you're impatient, it will never happen. So it's basically a lesson in patience. So for example, if and the where we get this from is if you are if you're into cooking and you need a bowl or a pot of water to boil very quickly and you stand over it and you watch it it seems like it takes forever and it never boils. So if you just walk away for a minute and come back, it will happen. Yes, so don't rush things. Don't rush things. Just chill out and um, relax and wait for it to happen. Wait for something to happen. Exactly, exactly. Um, and if you just keep checking on them, it'll just take longer. It'll just take longer. So, yeah. Um, good job, Imal. Good job. So, good guys. All right. Um, let's do another one. One point for the lobby. One point for the lobby. I'm going to be in the lobby, too. <laughs> <laughs> Colingo students are extremely competitive, James. <laughs> we are very competitive. Everyone always wants to win. So. I'm not going to wait my turn this time. I'm just going to shout it out if I know it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um. South Dakota, huh? Yeah, we just had a major ice storm last week, about a week ago today, and it like tore through here and made it look like a tornado came through here. It's so bad. Oh no! An inch to an inch and a half thick of ice. Are you from there? Yeah. Do you have horses? Say again. Do you have horses? <laughs> no, I don't have horses. No. I, I actually live in probably the most populized area, uh, and everything else is all farm. <laughs> what's the what's the most populous area in South Dakota? Sioux Falls. It's Sioux Falls. kind of right at the bottom corner, the bottom uh, east corner, and it's gotcha. close to like Minnesota, Iowa, Nebraska, all that. Gotcha, gotcha. So you're not a farm boy. No. Ah, oh, that's a shame. But I've been on farms. <laughs> I've what they're like. <laughs> I've spent some time on them, but I've never lived there. I am a farm girl, so. Yeah. I am. I have had horses my whole life. I've had cows. I've had chickens. I've had, I think, pretty much everything except a pig. So <laughs> Why not porkies? You know, I don't know. Maybe we'll get one for Troy. Maybe we'll get one for my son. My mom actually mentioned, because I want to get him, I mean, obviously this is years down the road, but I want to get my son into 4-H when he's old enough. And... Um, I said, let's get him a steer, and my mom's like, no, get him a pig or a, or a sheep or something, or a lamb or something. So, I don't know. We'll see. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll probably start with something small like a chicken. So, yeah. Oh, 4-H. 4-H, Emal. It's, um, it's a... So, <laughs> young farmers for kids. For kids. Mm. So it's very popular here in the U.S. So, all right. Um, 
Here's our new idiom, guys. And okay, Assad, we're gonna start with you this time. Uh, may I have uh, letter R? Letter R. That's it, just two. Uh, Bruno? May I have the letter A? A. Um, Ednardo? Um, H. H. James? Uh, V. V? Yeah, V. Is in v. V is in Victor. Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, oh man, that really sucks. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! The, yes, Linda got it. Linda, crazy girl. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes. Caught with your. I'm gonna have to give you guys some hard ones that aren't like normal idioms. Shinny. Yes. Would you mind? Would you mind if I eat some cake in your class? With what? Would you, you mind what? if I if I eat some cake in your class? No, go for it. Thank you. Did you bring I'm enough for everybody else? No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I would like some cake. <laughs> I have a cupcake in the kitchen that I really want to eat too. So caught with your hand in the cookie jar. Um has anybody ever heard this one? Uh, when nope. someone uh, meets you doing something wrong? Yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. Um, like right, like red-handed, right? Red hands. Caught doing something wrong. We use this. Um, I want to say we use this for kids a lot. It, that's where it stems from. You know, you tell your child, you know, don't, don't eat the cookies. You know, the cookies are for later. And you take your eye off them for one second, and next thing you know, you turn around, and there they are with their little paws in the, in the cookie jar getting some cookies. <laughs> so that's where it comes from. And it's basically when you're told not to do something, um, and you do it anyway, and you get caught. You're caught with your hand in the cookie jar. Yeah. So you can say, yeah, "It's not me." <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Um, you can, but if you're caught with your hand in the cookie jar, it's yeah. like you are. You're busted. It's not yeah. like it's not like really a question on if you did it or not. They know you did it. Yeah, so in that yeah. way you have no arguments. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, you really have no argument. Yeah, you have no alibi. An alibi is like, oh no, I was, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't stealing cookies. I was washing the car. Um, no, you weren't. Um, so <laughs> they they know if you, you know, it's pretty solid evidence that you are the one who did. Alibi. Whatever how, how do you write this word? Which alibi? Yeah, please. It's a, um, alibi. Okay, thank you. Alibi. Mm -hmm. Now, alibi is normally used for like criminal activity. 
Um, but you can use it loosely for other things. An alibi just basically means that you um, you have a solid story for where you were and what you were doing at a certain time. So you could say, well, I <laughs> I watch way too much ID channel. I think um, <laughs> ID channel is all about like crime and murder mysteries. So you could say, no, I didn't murder my girl. Friend, I was in South Dakota at the time, so something like that. So, James, <laughs> yeah, I was with James in South Dakota. It's not my fault. So yeah, so an alibi is um, is saying that you were someplace else. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm gonna have to find a different one. Hmm. I have a lot, so I'm gonna have to find one that the that's harder for the lobby to Google. Yeah. No. Go for it. Um. Maybe you just improvise and make make up your own or something. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. This is yeah exactly. Mm. I swear this is an idiom. Um. <laughs> Just never, it's just a, one that's not used very often. Okay. I saw this one this morning and I've never heard it, but we'll see. But, yeah. In the lobby day. Okay, um, Ednardo, or no, I'm sorry, Bruno, we'll start with you this time. May I have the letter E? The letter E. Good. Ednardo? Yeah, let me see. Uh, A. A? Yeah. No, oh gosh. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, James? Nice uh, T? T. Wow, wow, wow. No? Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I got the head last time. I don't want it this time. <laughs> Miracle was, um, she joined my games class the other day, and one of the categories was homonyms. And, uh, her question was um, to wander aimlessly or the capital city of Italy. And she was like, she was so embarrassed. She couldn't think of it for the longest time. She's like, this is my native language. What is going on? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she did get it. She did get it. So way to go, Miracle. But I think, yeah, it's, I don't know. I think you feel more pressure when you know it's your native language and it's like, yeah. <laughs> and you should know these things. Yeah. <laughs> so, you got yeah. freeze. Let's say that again. You got freeze. The brain is no function well when you are in the panic. Oh, yeah, your brain gets fuzzy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, and Rava got it already. What? Too. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. But you're covering I'm gonna make like a, half of it I'm up. gonna make a new. <laughs> I'm gonna make a new rule. No using Google. 
No using Google. Oh. <laughs> yes, it is out, out, of the oh. out of the pot into the fire. Either that or I'm going to tell the lobby they can't play. <laughs> I'm really mean with games, too. I'm like the meanest Kalingo teacher with games. So, yes, out of the pot into the fire. So, this no is way. a landslide. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> this happened now. Half my class hasn't even gotten a turn to guess a letter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so out of the frying or out of the out of the pot into the fire. You can also say out of the frying pan into the fire. It basically means if you if you get into one problem and get your microphone just I can hear you. I don't like you Google Hangouts anymore. Um, <laughs> Let's try Skype. Okay, if you get into one problem and get yourself out of that problem, you find yourself in another bigger problem. So oh. you got yourself out of the pot, but now you're in the fire. So it's like kind of getting rid of one problem only to have a more serious one. Only to have a more serious one. And yeah, I'm going to change the category. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, Fabiana. Good idea. Um, I found the best idiom website. I'll give it to you um, after class, James, for sure. Awesome. Yeah. It has zillions. Um, this might be offensive. <laughs> ah, okay. This is one of my favorite idioms. No more into this category, right? It might be, it might not be. Okay. No clues today. <laughs> no clues. Yep, no more clues. No problem. See, my mom growing See, up mom. would watch. Uh, Wheel of Fortune all the time, and so yes. <laughs> I do every night. So that in Jeopardy. I don't really watch it, so I'm not really good at it. But she would be amazing. Uh huh. Yeah, I love it. My husband and I. My husband is better at Wheel of Fortune. I'm better at Jeopardy. But my one of my lifelong dreams is actually to be on Jeopardy. So I've taken the Jeopardy test. Um, each year for the past three years, but kind of like I was talking, it's, I can sit and play the game really well, um, you know, watching TV, I can, you know, sometimes I'll get, you know, 90% of them right, and then I'll go to take the test, and it's like, I don't know anything, it's just every, I'm like, you know, it's stuff that, and it's, it's because you get nervous, I mean, it's like, I don't know how to explain it, you just, pressure does that. It does, and you only, the thing is, the test is really hard. You have 15 seconds to read the question and type the answer. It's not like multiple choice or anything. You have to read the question and type the answer all within 15 seconds. And, and it's hard. I mean, it's really hard. Um, okay. Ah, Fabiana's back. Nice. Okay. Um... Whose turn is it to start? Ednardo, is it yours? Or did you start last time? No. Uh, no, okay. The, it's your turn then. Okay. Uh, I'm in H, please. In H. Yeah. Hello, Fabiana, by the way. Hi, Ednardo.
Maybe your computer can't handle the heat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's melting down, Fabiana. <laughs> Um, all right, uh, Fabiana, it is your turn. Can I have the letter T, please? Chico, Sorry. Chico. No, <laughs> that was Marley and Chico. That was both of them. Out of there. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. James? Uh, let's just pick, we'll pick an E. An E. That's a safe bet. Yeah. No, that was cheap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one? Yeah. Uh, go, give me let O, please. O. Slim. Can I have the letter U? U. Um, Andre? Um, uh, F. F. Asad? B? Yep. Which other? B. B? B. B as in boy? Yes. Or, or, okay. Oh, out of the mouth of babes. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I don't... <laughs> like, he kept on, like, switching between, like, different people as they were speaking for the main thing, and I didn't see it very often. There you go. Yes! <laughs> oh, if you, um, good job, James. So, um, if you want to fix that, James, um, you know how all the pictures are on the bottom? Just click on it, right? Yeah, click on mine, and it'll stay. So, so, out of the mouths of babes. Anybody ever heard this one besides James? No, I don't. No? James, do you know what it means? Out of the mouth of babes. Um, when someone uh, wants an honest answer, young ones are more than likely going to give you something that's honest and true. Mm -hmm. so that's what it means. Yeah. Someone who's young and someone who's pure uh, will give you something true and honest. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Like, a little kid won't hesitate to say something like, You're fat! What? <laughs> 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 um, you know, little little kids are always, they just say the truth, you know, they just, they say whatever, you know, the truth is. So, um, they have real, much on tact. They say what they think. Yeah, exactly. They don't, yeah, they don't really focus much on, you know, what might be polite and what might not be so polite. They just say the truth. Say, so, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. So, okay. yeah, exactly. Um, say that again, one. No, no, I wonder what was said, but uh, I got it. Thank you. Oh, you're fat? <laughs> 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 Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, they just, they, yeah, they just are really honest so you'll and a lot of times um, if you're around a lot of people that have kids around you know um, you know I was actually does everybody know who Ellen DeGeneres is Ellen, yeah. Ellen okay I love her show I actually went and saw her show my mom and I went and were able to sit in the audience that was really fun but um, her show was on the other day and she had those two little British girls 
um, I forget their names, Ro Rosie and I forget the other one, but it was one of their birthdays. And so Ellen had a cake for the little girl and um, she told her to, you know, blow out the candles and make a wish. And so she did, the, the, the little girl did, and Ellen asked her, well, what did you wish for? And she goes, oh, that's easy. I wish for the same thing every year, um, for my mama to have a baby. And it was like, oh, <laughs> I don't think Ellen was expecting that to come out of her mouth. And it was a perfect opportunity to say, out of the mouths of babes, you know. I mean, it mm -hmm. kind of put her mom on the spot and in an awkward position. But she was just being honest. She was just yeah. saying what was on her mind. So, yeah. Um, Most of the times, the kids put you in an embarrassing situation. Yes, I know. I'm ready for that. No, I'm not. You're <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Right now, the only, you know, out of the mouths of babes I have are the dogs barking, so it'll be a big change. What kind of dog do you have? I have three. Oh, really? <laughs> um, yeah, I live in a zoo. I have um, I have three dogs, three cats, and two horses. So. Oh, wow. And a husband and a baby on the way. So um, it's, it's um, I have number. Yeah, I know, right? Um, I have a Rottweiler. <laughs> I have a German short-haired pointer, and I have a Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you got the sizes covered too. Yeah, small, medium, large are good. Um, then I have an orange cat, a black cat, and a little deformed, literally, um, tortoise shell cat who's actually sleeping behind this board as we as we speak. So, <laughs> yeah. You're pressing on it. Um, no, this is this is this is all a facade, James. This oh, is my okay. this is my laundry. <laughs> this is my laundry behind this. So, yeah. And she always gets in it and sleeps. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting a. I have a cat and some fish, but I'm looking forward to getting a dog here later this uh, midsummer. So. Do you know what you want? I do actually. I think I do. Uh, I really like to have a German Shepherd. I'd really like. I've wanted to have one for such a long time. They're good dogs. Yeah. They're good dogs. Rottweilers. They're... Rottweilers are really good too, though. Yeah. My I'm sister, a huge boy. Rottweiler. I yeah, I'm a huge Rottweiler fan. Huge, huge, huge. So, out of all of them, my pointer is the most lunatic. So. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So, um, all right. New categories. So this has nothing to do with babies, and this has nothing to do with furniture. Um, and Miss Fabiana, we will start with you. Can I have the letter R, please? James? Uh, we'll use E. E. One? Yeah. Uh, A, please. Can I guess? You know it? Me too. Say that again. Read someone the Rio Act. I'm reading in the chat. What? What? Read someone the Rio Act. 
Riot yeah. Act. Riot Act. Right. Riot Act, yes. Slim, be cheating? No. Are you telling the truth? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that. You haven't? I don't think so. Oh, wow. Okay, so. It's yeah, so like Reed's... giving someone uh, a warning uh, that if uh, they don't stop doing something, mm -hmm. uh, we would be seriously punished. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. It's like your last and final warning. Like, if I'm you read. Kidding. Yeah, if you read someone the right act, you, like, really hand it to them. Like, if you ever do that again, you know, this is going to happen to you. It's a really, really stern, stern uh, warning. So, yeah. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah. 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 So, so. So, so. It's not so, a warning to one. For example. Um, it's like, like, like your mother. Uh, warning you. Yeah, like for the last time. Like, if you put your brother's head in the toilet one more time, yeah. I'm going, yeah, you are going to be grounded for the rest of your life. Yes, yeah, exactly. You're exactly. Right? Yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna de definitely be one of those moms. There's an IKEA commercial that I cannot stand, where this mother put, puts her son in time out, and he's like destroying the kitchen. And I'm just like, why are they showing this on TV? It's like totally endorsing bad behavior. I know, and they're trying to get like all these kids to just. I know. I just. Do you know what commercial I'm talking about? I don't. Nah, I don't really watch too much TV, but. Oh, it's the worst. It's the worst commercial ever. I can't stand it. I always, I cringe whenever that commercial comes on. You said it was Ikea? It's an Ikea commercial, yeah. The closest you Ikea could... to us is like four hours away. <laughs> the, you know what? The closest one to me is about two. <laughs> so, believe it or not. Um, let's see. Okay. So if someone reads you the riot act, you better stop whatever it is that you're doing. What does riot mean? Um, riot literally is when a bunch of people get together and violently protest something they don't agree with, generally. In America, we have idiots that riot after their team wins a big basketball game or a big football game soccer. um soccer yeah it just yeah but those so i don't they call it rioting and it is i guess technically rioting but i don't know i always associate rioting with violently protesting something you're against instead of yes my team won the super bowl i'm gonna go set a car on fire um so yeah so but that's that's rioting so, yeah, yeah. yeah okay thank you yeah, no problem um. All right. We got to bridge this gap here. Two and three. Come on. I know, right? <laughs> the last point. <laughs> It's supposed to be an apostrophe. It looks like it's in the wrong spot. All right. Um, James, we'll start with you. Uh, a. A. One. One. Yeah, can I have the oh. letter E, please? E, okay. <laughs> C. 
Slim? Can I have the letter C, please? C? Yes. Andre? Uh, S. Cast. Asad? Cast. T? T? T is yes. in Tom? Bruno! Oh my god. Yes. Um, can I guess? Cast along. Yeah. yeah. Anybody knows can it? I? Can I? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cast chips I set. Yes. Good. What? <clears throat> no more cheating. <laughs> Yes, cast sheep's eyes at. Okay, Slim, Mr. Cheater. What does it mean? No, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> He's already getting it pretty bad. I'm very really clever sometimes. <laughs> Say that again? I am very clever sometimes. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, um, super. Yeah, super yeah, duper. So. <laughs> what does it mean? Yeah, what does it mean? Do you know? Um, actually, <laughs> no. No? <laughs> It's it's cheating, cheating. Cheating. Uh, give the answer. <laughs> All right. If you if you cast if you cast sheep's eyes at someone, it means that you are looking at them very lovingly or longingly. Um, you know, it's like a very sweet look. Sheep's have very sweet eyes, mm. so it's like oh, no. looking looking at someone with a lot of love and affection. So like. Mm. Like the cat, oh, like yeah. the cat in shark. Like what? The cat in shark, the movie. The what? The cat in the movie shirt. Yes. <laughs> the cat the, in the movie. Which movie? Shirt. Shirt. Oh, Shrek. Shrek. Oh, Shrek. Uh, yes. Yeah. Shrek. Oh, yes. Like Puss in Boots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yes, exactly. You know, I've actually never seen Shrek all the way through. I know. Sorry. Um, even my parents have seen Shrek all the way through. I'm really deprived. Um, it also, is it, does anybody know who Pepe Le Pew is? That's a cartoon. Pepe Le Pew casts sheep's eyes at the cat who he thinks is a skunk all the time. The yeah. French guy, right? Yes, Bebe Le Pew. Yes. Bebe Le Pew. Yeah, <laughs> that guy. Yes, exactly. So that's one of my favorite um, cartoons for sure. It's not a tune. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's an old cartoon. Yeah. Um... I Let's think I know older see. than that. There, yeah, there's some older ones than that. Yeah, but I, I think I, I uh, watched the, when Disney started. I don't know the when it's... Mouse was in black and white. How old are you, one? I am 42. Oh, Mickey Mouse is older than you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, let's see. Mickey must be a hundred years. <laughs> Almost. I think Mickey came out in like the 20s or 30s, maybe? I don't know. It was a long... The first one was the one with him whistling on the riverboat. I do know that. Um, okay. <laughs> I posted on Facebook the other day a Mickey Mouse cartoon. Um, Mickey and the Seals. That used to be like my favorite one. And I found it on YouTube. I was really excited. Mm -hmm. 
Two. All right. She's One. Off. Okay. Uh, it started with the letter O. Slim. Can I have the letter A, please? A. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Andre? I said please. <laughs> <laughs> I think H. H. Only one. <laughs> okay. Asad? May I have uh, I, please? I. Bruno? May I have the letter E? E. Ednardo? Mm -hmm. I mean, Rodrigo is guessing in the lobby. I'm going to try this out. The letter C. Yeah, Rodrigo. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> you see what's happening? Fabiana? <laughs> Can I have the letter R, please? Don't say please. <laughs> <laughs> James? S. Good. So it must be a U, right? A U? Yeah. Yes. Slim? <clears throat> Uh, okay, I will not be using uh, T, uh, T, please. T? Yes. yes, for sure. And I know it's exist. <laughs> Add the T, okay. By the skin of our T. Yeah! Er, wait, say it one more time. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, no. by the skin of your T. You want to explain it, James? Uh, yeah. When, uh, may, I don't, uh, let me see here. When it's something that's going to be like a very tight fit, you barely make it. It's so tight. You don't have skin on your teeth. So when you say you buy the skin of your teeth, you almost, there was like nothing else. You mm -hmm. almost. Just, mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like if you want to use it in a sentence, you could say something like, um, I passed I passed that test by the skin of my teeth. You know, that you barely, barely passed a test. You passed it by the skin of your teeth. So mm -hmm. skin of your teeth. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is a, I like this idiom. I, this is one of my favorite ones. Yeah. Let's do one more. Hey, I'll do it now. I believe it's your turn. Thank you. Okay, can I have the letter A, please? Letter A. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Andre? 
C. C. Yeah. Aside. Okay. Can I have uh, S, please? S. Can I guess? No. Please. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm smart. Yes. You're, how do you wait, do wait this? Wait for your turn. It's not uh, so fast. Three volts, not much. <laughs> What's a cast iron stomach? Yes, we win. <laughs> yeah, the room wins. Five to three. Good no job. I don't. Do you know what a cast iron? Uh, I think it can uh, eat or drink anything uh, without uh, any effect in uh, his uh, stomach. Yeah, exactly. Someone with a cast iron stomach can eat or drink anything without That's having cool. any effects. Uh, yeah. So you yeah, it's like those people that could like take a bottle of hot sauce and drink it without puking. Yeah.